What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger Baby. <laughs> Many of you already know I'm the last five member of my family. So I have a tragic family history with heart disease. And um, so Bobby got her, you know, her annual physical or whatever. Um, just because of my history and because she plays basketball, because you hear all those stories or a few stories where, you know, healthy kids just drop dead on the court whatever so they just want to make sure so they did a little um e ekg um it took less than five minutes they they put all those little things on her little chest and stuff we were in and out in five minutes but there was something that looked irregular to the to her pediatrician because she's not 18 yet so she still sees a pediatrician so she had an appointment with the heart, with the cardiologist today, just to rule it out. He was like, honestly, when I read your, you know, read all your results and stuff, he said, I would say it's normal. That's normal. <laughs> but, you know, because of the tragic family history and just to rule out any other thing and because you play basketball, they are going to... Um, she has to wear a 24-hour monitor. They don't want to do anything else invasive. They said she's too young for that. He doesn't hear irregular heartbeat. You know, he did all the basic things. And so just to cover all his bases, she's going to have to wear a 24-hour heart monitor. And so I have to take her in for that tomorrow, day of this video. I have to take her in for that tomorrow at 8 o'clock. And then my mammogram is at 9 o'clock. Cancer really doesn't run in my family. It's that hard. So I'm paranoid. I'm surprised my doctor didn't set up an appointment for me to go see a cardiologist. But I go back to the doctor on next week um, for a follow-up and to discuss all my blood work and blah, blah, blah. Check my blood pressure, blah, blah, blah. So to do all those things. But I want just to make sure to go see the cardiologist if you have a tragic family history of heart disease or of, or cancer if you have a tragic family history of cancer you need to be mindful of your annual screenings whether you're going every six months every 12 months you need to be on top of that i read somewhere a lady i think many many people in her family her aunts and everybody passed away from cancer I think it was breast cancer that ran in the family. I mean, it was just hitting everybody. So it was inevitable that she was going to get it. So she was tested. I think it was for a gene or, or something. She was tested for it and she had that gene or whatever it was that it was inevitable that she was going to get it. So she had a um, voluntary um, double mastectomy. So she got her joints cut off. She was just, just take them. There was she had she had no cancer, no nothing, but to be proactive, she just said, just take them. You know, she wanted to live, just take them away. Yep. So it's about being proactive for her. So, um, so I'm sure she's fine. They didn't offer the same results for Sydney. Sydney has stomach issues. We think she has acid reflux every time she eats, her stomach hurts. Even on her birthday, she was crying. I just want to feel better. Nobody knows what's wrong with me. But I've been down this road with her before with her knee. Her knee was hurting her for a long time. And I'm like, oh God. Okay, it's been several, several months. Let me take the girl in because it's my motherly duty. That's what I gotta do. <laughs> and um, she had a, a MRI. She had this be in this little machine for i think a full 30 minutes to an hour i don't know it was something crazy because they um took a picture of her entire leg just to rule out everything but i just think she was going through a groaning spurt and of course she was crying all the time about her leg i mean crying crying it just hurt so bad so this was many 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 years ago so that cost a good penny <laughs> yeah thousands and thousands of dollars for that i'm like if your hypochondriac butt don't lay down somewhere and take an aspirin <laughs> you know so i'm just like um if it's not one thing it's another shy i ain't even get to the dentist yet <sighs> so anyway so that was the tea um 
with all the doctor's visits. I'm watching my blood pressure. I gotta do my blood pressure. I had to buy one of these blood pressure monitors. Um, she just wanted to keep an eye shit. But I was nervous, okay? <laughs> Cause you know I had that girly appointment. <laughs> I had to <laughs> So I think I was just nervous, you know? What? You know, you know? So my joint was to the roof. <laughs> So she said, she said, you could be nervous. I was like, and I just pointed at the spectrum. You know, you can't see facial expressions because you, you have the mask in for that. I was like, yeah, and I just pointed to all the little tools she had over there. And um, so she just wants me to, to keep track of it. it is, and it has gone down um, quite a bit. But I'm telling you, those mukbangs will catch up with you too. So, you know, I'm trying to be mindful of what I eat. But it, it did go down. But still, being mindful, I have not been working out since covid since school so i haven't been working out since march to keep it real real maybe a little bit after march that was spring break but i kind of stopped because i was on a, a good routine when i was at school you know i kept mentioning that 4 30 i was on it so it could be a you know a little of that just sitting around not exercising and eating the mug balls you know what i'm saying watch what i'm eating a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit um, so I go back on Monday, then I, you know, see the rest of my blood work. I, I have, um, high, um, cholesterol is hereditary in my family. So you have good cholesterol and you have bad cholesterol. The good cholesterol is HDL. The bad cholesterol is LDL. My HDL, the H, I said, I remember because the H for happy. Um, the HDL, my HDL is super, super, super high which is great but my ldl is high too but because this is so high it kind of balances it out so i will find out you know my new test results for my new blood work um if that is still the case um she called me on the iron like that she was like uh-uh we gotta get this under control sis she's kind of dry she, she's the type of doctor no bedside manner she's I'm like, do you laugh? Do you have any funny bones in your spirit? She didn't get my jokes, nothing. She was just down to business. That's it. So if you want a doctor that, that knows their stuff, you not you just want to be in and out. Just get, let's keep it to the facts. We're not trying to, I'm not trying to be your friend. <laughs> That's what it was like. So I'm we're not a sickly family so we don't go to the doctor that much so it's not like i have to have regular visits with her i know some people are like oh she would not be my doctor um and it seems like i'm always changing jobs <laughs> so every time i change a job you get new insurance <laughs> so <laughs> so i'm just like you know let me go through this round it is what it is whatever she wants to do let's get it over with but she's not somebody i would go to be like oh my god i love them oh I, you know mm -mm. She not one of those. And I don't, at this point, I don't think it's worth it. And I think my job is changing insurance. So I don't even think, I. it's with Kelsey. I went to Kelsey Siebel. <clears throat> I don't even think my new insurance, because I had to renew my insurance for next year. I don't even think that they're related to Casey Siebel. So it may be a, a wrap anyway. So I want to get everything done before September 1st. Because that's when the new insurance starts. Okay. So you see, it may have worked itself out. So I want to get everybody um, situated. Cold. Look, you hear my ice? This has been in here since yesterday, child. I lied because I didn't eat the ice. That's right, I didn't eat the ice. That make no sense. Look, I'm shaking it to try and get a piece of ice. My mouth is watering. I think ice is bad, y'all. <laughs> it's bad. And I still have not cleaned my room. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. That's my steak. Oh, it tastes so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, that was so good. I had me a big giant cup of Sonic ice yesterday, baby. Oh, that's making my mouth water just talking about it. I got it bad, y'all. 
So hopefully the iron transfusion will eradicate these insatiable ice creams. <laughs> um, that's all I got. I still need to clean my room. It is a hot mess. But at least I am doing a load of laundry right now. I have another load to do. I might do tomorrow after I do all this running around. And I'm going to relax for a little while and check my blood pressure. I have to keep a blood pressure diary. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it. So uh, give this video a thumbs up because your comments help me out a lot. Your sharing the videos help me out, help me out a lot. Giving the video a thumbs up. The dialogue that we have back and forth, it does help me out. And I know you guys love me and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but that's the way you help me too. I don't really make money from the YouTube uh, videos. Just like a few coins. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, it may buy us a, a pizza. <laughs> but you know, that's a pizza that I have with the kids. Or I'm ripping and running. And that is a help. So, that's how you can help as well. By, you know, giving the video a thumbs up. Leaving a comment. Saying something positive, encouraging. Or whatever it is. So, those things help as well. So, just wanted to let you know. Give the video a thumbs up. I love you guys. And thank you for loving me. For who I am. With all my little crazy cuckoo. Okay. Because it is what it is. And I will check in with you later. Alright guys. Until next time. Later. I'm not going to show y'all this room. It's a hot mess. I'm still trying to do that clean with me.